Hello and welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is day eight of Vlogmas. <clears throat> We're going to do a little experiment today after uh, I open up the yarn. And I've been really enjoying the tea that uh, Yoka sent me. Look at the size. Look at the size of this cup. It's bigger than my head. I've been drinking it a lot. Needless to say, I, I drink it and then I run run into the restroom because I'm drinking lots and lots of fluid. Uh, but it is really super good. It's a nice, um, it's a strong, well, I brew it a little strong anyway, but it's a nice strong tasting Earl Grey. So yeah, really, really yummy. So I am thoroughly enjoying that. So let's get started with today. Uh, today is eight. And so that, the, the pronunciations, just bear with me. Um, I did learn something from Yoka. She did tell me that the region that we are in, which is this region right here, that I was pronouncing Zoid, she said that that me actually means South. So it is uh, South Holland. And then the region just above this, which is where we'll be going next, is Nord Holland, which means North Holland. So we have South Holland and North Holland. So our lighthouse today is right here and it is pronounced well I will say it the best way I can it is Skevening Skeveningen yoga is probably sitting there laughing her eyes out because I'm probably totally messing these up let me just show you how it's spelled and then we can we can figure it out from there right here so this looks like evening. So skeveningen, skeveningen. That's 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 gonna be my guess. Skeveningen. Sounds good. So let's take a peek and see what it looks like. I had to find the end of the chain. So here we go. I'm pulling it loose. Here we go. And a lot of you have remarked on how cute these bags are and they are adorable. I am going to string them all back together with the, the yarn that these are like chain stitched together. I am going to put them all together again when I finish and it's going to become a yearly tradition of my um, of an advent calendar that maybe Dave and I can share together. So I'll put like little treats in it each day or something. I even know where I'm going to hang it in my living room. I have a little garland thing that hangs there with like little sailboats on it. So I'll take that down at Christmas time and next year I will be putting this up instead. So here is what today's lighthouse looks like. We're back to looking like a more traditional, at least here in the U.S., this looks like one of our traditional lighthouses. And it is all red. I wonder if it's brick or if it's painted. It looks like it's painted. Um, yeah, because some of them are, are just plain brick, but this looks like it is painted. So this is the Skeveninger, I think. But it is. So here is number eight on the back. And here's what the fabric looks like on it today. We have that red rose pattern again and the plaid and like a mattress ticking here. So I love these colors because they actually are the colors in my house. I have like yellow and blues and I have some little pops of red here and there. Yes, it's gonna look great in my house. So let's take a look and see what today's yarn looks like. Oh, today is a solid, is it a solid blue? No, it isn't. It is actually tonal. It looks solid, but when you look at it closely, there you can see. There you can see there is some green mixed in with that. So it is a blue and green mix. And, oh, there's another stitch marker or progress keeper and it's a little heart. This side of it you can see has like lines on it. There you can see it. But this side here is enameled. 
So, and this yarn is Schwappel, Schwappel. It means German, it's a German brand. Okay, Schwappel. And it is Zauberball. Oh, I've used Zauberball before. Um, I made a Hitchhiker, uh, which is a like a shawlette with like little zigzag lines uh, that you can do with like one skein of yarn. I made that out of Zauberball. Uh, this is 75% wool and 25% polyamide. So that is the yarn for today. I'm gonna stick it back in the little bag. Now, some of you may wonder what I am going to be doing with all of these little skeins of yarn. There is a pattern uh, my friend Kim made called Brighten My Day. Um, she's made it a couple times and I saw it in person at one of the craft fairs that we did. And it's really pretty. It is like a shawlette, but instead of knitting it this way, it is knit this way and it starts narrow and it gets wide and then it goes narrow again. So I'm going to wait till I finish the getting all the yarn for the advent calendar and then pick a skein of yarn I have plenty to choose from upstairs uh, that would go with pretty much all of the colors and then I'm going to be putting the uh, yarn advent colors in between the solid color all the way across. So I'm going to stick a picture in of what that shawl looks like so you'll see what I mean. So I think that'll be fun. Now, I told you we're going to do an experiment today. Okay, so this is one of the hats and I am working on a pattern for this. This is the one with the um, little cables. So I am working on making this uh, up into an official pattern. But one of you had told me, and I don't remember who it was, was saying that for the pom-poms, to get them to fluff up a little bit more to put a blow dryer on them and run a blow dryer. We're going to test that theory and I'm going to try really hard not to melt the pom-poms. So, um, yes, here's my handy dandy blow dryer. Let's give it a shot. I will put, I will mute the sound so that it doesn't blast your ears out when I turn the blow dryer on. And like I said, we will try not to catch the pom-pom on fire or melt it. That would, that would make for exciting video, but we aren't going to do that. So let's give it a try. Here we go. Okay, it does fluff it up some, look at that. That worked amazingly. Okay, whoever sent me that tip, thank you so much. It does do quite a nice job of fluffing them up. Looks like Peter Cottontail. But anyway, uh, and, and no fur was singed in the, these, this is artificial hair, but um, it's not real fur. But anyway, uh, yes, nothing was singed or smoking from doing this, which reminds me of a funny story. When my husband and I were dating, my parents have always had, um, uh, other than a chihuahua they had when I was little, they have always had shelties, which are miniature collies. And you have, they have that, that like plume type of tail. Their dog was sitting, at, we were in the living room, and we'd look over at the dog who's busy barking out the back door. And my parents had a kerosene heater sitting in the middle of the room. Well, close to where the dog was barking, and as we're looking closer, we see this plume of smoke going up because he was waving his tail over top of the kerosene heater and his tail started to catch fire and it was smoke was coming up. We had to go like extinguish the dog. <laughs> the dog wasn't hurt, but it smelled like burnt hair for a long time in there. Um, yeah, and he had like little crispy edges to his tail after we you know, extinguished him. We did not make him drop and roll or anything like that. We just kind of went behind him and <laughs> put out the put out the fire, you know, so he wasn't smoldering anymore. <laughs> it was horrible. But anyway, <laughs> it was good. Well, it was funny at the time. But anyway, yes. Sort of, sort of like when I caught my veil on fire during my wedding. Yeah. If, if you have not heard that story, yes. Um, Always lift your veil before you blow candles out because I didn't. 
and all of a sudden I looked sort of like that I Love Lucy episode where her nose is on fire when she's lighting that cigarette. Yeah, I looked down and I could see this, this plume of smoke coming up and Dave's reaching over like this because we didn't know if it was just like gonna melt onto my face or burst into flame. So he's reaching over ready to rip this veil off my face, you know, and um, I started going, <laughs> blowing real fast to, to put it out. So it did not catch fire, it did melt. I had this, it just kind of went like this and then stopped. It didn't even singe around the edges, like you near know, a little black circle or anything, but it just melted to this little hole right where my face was. So thankfully, once it was flipped back over my head, nobody could tell, but my mother was like, what was going on up at the altar during the, because our backs were turned to everybody when this was going on. And she says, what was all the huffing and puffing going on? I was like, I caught my veil on fire. So yes note to any of you make sure you lift the veil before you blow out the candles so now that we've talked about fire and extinguishing things today <laughs> i think that's going to be it so i will see you all again tomorrow thanks again for watching bye everybody